so excited to be at this Verdura exhibit just before it closes. It is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I feel that it isn't just celebrating Verdura's incredible artisanship and jewelry, but history and old Hollywood and cafe society and all these worlds that we don't see anymore. Uh, the show has been running now for two and a half months, and I think people's surprise was how, uh, how elegant people were at the time, how, um, how much time they took uh, in, in their appearance, not only movie stars, but you know, people going out to dinner, to a cocktail party. Uh, it was truly uh, a glamorous time. But the jewelry was really the, the icing on top of the cake. It was something that uh, made a personal statement, and particularly with Verdura, because almost everything he designed, he designed for someone. Well, what we're seeing is the uh, original sketches that Verdura did for um, each one of his clients, from uh, Paul Mellon to um, Betsy Whitney to Babe Paley uh, to Millicent Rogers. Um, it was a panoply of, of, uh, of great names. I think the most exciting thing for Nico, my son, and I was to be able to show these for the very first time. Well, 30 years ago when I bought the company, my goal was to share with the rest of the world what this man had done, because very few people were aware of it. He was not someone who um, sought publicity ever. <clears throat> because he had Chanel as his first client, uh, she was his billboard, uh, so to speak. And, and for me to, to, to achieve these things privately and put them away and to be able to share them with the public is, uh, is something that's an honor for us, and it also is an honorific uh, tip of the hat to Verdura. Well, I know it's a fantastic Monday morning when I get to try on a cuff that belonged to Coco Chanel. Listen to that snap. That's the most satisfying sound ever, Ward. So well, I love how it's worn. I can tell that she wore it every day. Yeah. This was a beloved piece for her. Yeah, and over 50 years she wore these things. And, and so and, iconic. And she wore them with uh, ball gowns and bathing suits. It was amazing. She, it became her signature. And what set these apart from the jewels of the time was that this was right when Art Deco was at its height. So mm -hmm. jewels were white, set with precious stones, rubies, emeralds, diamonds, sapphires, and they were angular. This is anything but. It's gold with semi-precious stones set into a cuff. No and one had worn cuffs for 100 years. Best opening night gift ever. Linda Porter gave one of these boxes. She commissioned Vidura every year. Anytime you did a movie, a Broadway play, right. there were 60 of them in all? 62, yeah. Each and they all one have of, a meaning, correct? They all have they meaning, and this the... one, this one's called, Pan the play was Panama Hattie, and Cole particularly liked this woven design, which we also use in a cuff. But the interior beneath the gold, you can see very, very uh, tight weave, is actually a Panama hat that Verdura bought for $3.50 and cut up and lined the box so it would be more relative to Panama Hattie. Oh, look at these. Look at these shells. Would you like us to open the case? Yes, I would very much, please. <laughs> look at the coral and that. Now, I read, is this true, that these are actually shells? They are, they are. That he then brought, gave a new life through jewelry. <laughs> a real life, yeah. A real what, life. What he did was, um, in, when he started his business in the end of 1939, he was not, uh, well, he certainly never had a lot of money, but uh, you could buy a nice seashell at the Museum of Natural History for $2. So he would buy a seashell and bring it back uh, and put jewels in it. There was a family in Boston, Mr. Mrs. Cushing. They had three daughters. All three daughters were clients of Verdura's. All three daughters married very well. Each one married twice, and uh, they were all friends of Verdura. The youngest was Babe Paley, who was his muse and also the, she was the most beautiful. Betsy Whitney uh, was married to the richest man in America, Jock Whitney, Mr. John Hay Whitney. Babe was married to the head of CBS, Bill Paley, and Minnie married Vincent Astor. And they all had a lot of jewelry, and they all liked Verdura, and he liked them, so he made some of his best pieces for them. Uh, this tiara was worn by Betsy Whitney uh, the night her husband was appointed ambassador to the UK. Uh, the, the design of the tiara, it's an American Indian headdress, was sort of a well, not exactly a joke, but it was done to make uh, young Queen Elizabeth, who was only on the throne for three years at that point, smile. Now we're in the room of Vidura of today, correct? These are new pieces that are based on archival Vidura designs that some of the most chicest <laughs> names in the world are, are wearing. And wait a minute, what? Uh, well, the... I was here the other day. Was it 
No, the, the piece was there. The woman has borrowed it for a party. It's almost Christmas, so she's, uh, she's I love it, so they're it dipping the, into their own, the reserve yeah. of the exhibit. Well, I had to promise these ladies, a lot of them anyway, that they could borrow their pieces back if they needed them. The only, the only requisite was please bring it back for the rest of the show. So I recognize that. That's Sofia Coppola's. Yeah, the black one is Sofia Coppola. Love that Coppola. so much. She arranges the stones herself on her. her well, she's she a has, director. She so. is, absolutely, and she has different colors and different sizes. I think she has three of them. This one belongs to to Sarah Jessica Parker, and this one is Brooke Shields. Now, you've only touched the tip of the iceberg here as far as pieces that you are basing on the archives. There's a lot more that you haven't even, there's a lot more to look forward to here. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, actually, I bought the company 30 years ago. I've made about 500 of the more than 10,000 designs. So I jokingly tell my son, we've got 9,500 to go, and his sons, he has two of them, will be doing it when they're old, so uh, we've got a long, long way to go. It's a good thing it's only Monday. We've got to get to work. Thank I've got to get you back to work. I want, I want to see work wonderful children. Thank you very much.